So as you can see, there's one hand and there's the other hand. See that glove I've got on? I've got a cotton glove to keep my hand a little bit clean because I've got a dressing on that, to th that thumb there after nearly severing my thumb in a kind of a workplace accident that uh, two and a bit weeks ago. Uh, it was a very painful experience, I can tell you that. You know, draw things uh, from your own experience much better. So, for example, uh, I've got this uh, book of selfies. I tend not to take uh, selfie photographs of myself except they're, if they're for work or something, but I, I don't mind drawing selfies, you know, so you know, there's there's one there. You know, I just did that in uh, black ink uh, on a grey paper. This is this whole sort of sketchbook is uh, grey paper, kind of mid-tone grey paper. And for example, there's, you know, there's a uh, a selfie that I did there. And it kind of doesn't matter if it's uh, it's not absolutely perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. And so, you know, it, 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 but it can be fun. So I'm going to switch cameras now and uh, and start having a go at this. And I'll sort of try to relate what I'm doing as I'm going along. And this is kind of the thing that uh, we'll be doing in... Uh, in the Draw Your Own Stories summer teen camp uh, starting next week on the 12th is the first week. So uh, that's the orbits, what you know, they the, call the orbits of the eyes. So the, the bone structure into which your eye slots or grows, I suppose. So there. Yeah. You can see the teeth on the other side as well. Right, so now we've got a, a kind of a fairly horrendous looking character with a... With his hand up. Now... There's the knuckles would be along there, wouldn't it? And... Finger there. Finger there. Finger there. You just put a bit of a gap in between the fingers. There is a kind of a, a gap. We just draw a, kind of a straightforward hand there. His thumb sticking up in the air. And and now the central point of this thing is I've cut my thumb right off. Now that's not what happened, but this is an exaggeration. Okay, so we've got the, the bone. And another comic convention is is the uh, is the language that's used, you know, sort of in well, not language, but the sounds are. That's right. So I think a common one would be "nyar," wouldn't it? And it would be a repeat of that. Nyarg, that's it, and then you'd make them heavy. You can spend as much time as you like on the on the lettering, as long as it's legible, I suppose. Then that's. Uh, Embellish that. There you go. And that really is a story from my life. It doesn't always have to be all the uh, horror, it could be anything. Whatever has happened to you, this is just the thing that happened to me recently, so I could tell many stories. And it's good fun. And it's also it's a bit like a diary, isn't it? So if I kept that drawing, I, well, I will keep this drawing, but uh, if I kept this uh, uh, drawing, it would remind me of, uh, even though it doesn't look like me, it would remind me of how uh, I felt at the time and what was going through my head and what I had to do as well. It wasn't that severe. I didn't lose the top of my my thumb i cut my thumb that's what it is so um there you go that's the kind of stuff that i teach and uh, once you get it 
it really gets interesting. It really starts uh, coming together. It's joyful uh, when, when you can sit down and describe something, even describe the circumstances around you uh, um, where you sit uh, drawing. You can lose yourself in the drawings, add things and embellish them and, and remove things you don't want and tell the story in a different way and make it comical, make it, uh, you know, make it dark. All the things uh, uh, that you feel can go into a drawing. So the drawing becomes something else. So that's it.